It's been around for centuries. And it's just so nourishing. So you feel better after you practice, no matter what. That's really one of the things I love about yoga. You can be grumpy, feeling gross, you can be tired, whatever. After you practice, you always feel better. No matter what you feel like each day, there's a style of yoga to match your mood. We have a really slow, deep, restorative practice for when you're feeling like stressed out and really just tapped out, like finished, and you need a slow, nourishing practice. And then we have a really invigorating, sweaty, sweaty practice when you're like, I'm, I'm kind of sluggish and I need to like get in there and move. So start to shift your weight forward into your toes and lift your sitting bones. I have been to several different studios and everyone has their different style. Everyone plays their different music. It's a different practice, um, but it's nice to have those varieties because you can challenge yourself in different ways and it with different positions as well. This time we're gonna hook our elbow. When practicing, it's important to focus on yourself and avoid comparing yourself to others in class. It's not about everyone else, it's about you on your mat and not pushing it to the next level, just doing what you can. Sometimes the temptation is to go, oh, I can't do that, there's no way I can do that, and kind of sit back and watch everyone else in their practice. Well, I'm guaranteeing you, anyone who can move into one of those challenging poses stayed on their mat, stayed with it, stayed with it, fell probably a thousand and eight times. You're in headstand, begin to float your legs out wide, come back down the way you came up. Even those more experienced in their yoga practice don't always master every position. I was not the flexible one. I can't do the splits, I can't do handstands, but you have to start somewhere. And alone, it's, again, it's like competing against yourself, but without the competition, and it's, you can do what you can do. And, the more practice, the better you get at it. When we left class, we felt relaxed, restored, and rejuvenated. Deepest gratitude for your offering. Namaste.